السلام علیکم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس از ڈاکٹر صادق علی فرام ڈاکٹر صادق علی لیکچرس اگین ود ویری ویری امپورٹنٹ ٹاپک لاسٹ ٹائم آئی اپلوڈ آن دا یو ٹیوب دیٹ از ڈیکسا میتھوسون سپریشن ٹیسٹ دیٹ از ٹو ڈفرینشیٹ فار کوشنگ ڈیزیز کوشنگ سنڈروم دیٹ از ایکٹاپک کارٹیسول اینڈ میجورٹی of the students they already uh, love the topic and they uh, gave me a very very fruitful comments so some of the students they told me that sir you can upload the lectures on renin angiotensin aldosterone system that is called ras ras stand for renin angiotensin aldosterone system so today in this topic we will discuss what does this ras mean what is the significance of this ras system in our body so please remember actually when our blood pressure changes especially when bp is low now we know that systolic blood pressure in a healthy person that is 120 the ideal diastolic blood pressure is 80 so we can say systolic by diastolic 120 by 80 now when our bp drop when our bp drop so there are certain mechanism in the body they get activated to control or to maintain the blood pressure so when the bp is low the short term regulation in the bp of our body that is maintained by baroreceptor system we will discuss this in different segment but today our lecture is about ras so ras is maintaining the blood pressure for longer time so it's mean if someone ask you can you tell me the name of a concept which maintain the blood pressure for longer time so long term regulation of bp that is controlled by a system in the body that is renin angiotensin aldosterone system but this system is super super important when blood pressure is drop yeah when blood pressure i should say that is low so when the bp is low the condition is called hypotension so now this system came into picture when the bp is low and this system try to maintain the blood pressure for longer time now this system in some book also known as hormonal system of the body so now just we can start it so what is this ras actually mean so now when the blood pressure is low the bp is drop so then flight or fight system get activated that is sympathetic system as we know we have two system parasympathetic and sympathetic now the system which is predominantly acting in the body in a relaxed state that is called parasympathetic that is why we can say in autonomic nervous system physiology that parasympathetic is a rest and digest system now in this case when the bp is low this is something wrong in the body so now emergency system flight or fight system will get activated and that is called sympathetic system now this sympathetic system activation is the key very important now this sympathetic system that will release epinephrine norepinephrine and that will lead to neuronal stimulation of a special group of cells in the kidney that is called juxta glomerular cells that is known as jg cell now some people say jg apparatus because it contain macula densa macula densa is a specialized cell of jg apparatus which very very sensible to sodium in the blood now two thing has to be remember here when bp is low the blood supply to the kidney already will be low cardiac output will be low so the blood flow to the kidney will be low so when the kidney do not receive enough blood there is decrease sodium in the blood so sodium ki jo decrease level that is sensed by macula densa in jg apparatus but a few people can say when bp is drop sympathetic system flight or fight system get activated and that will activate juxta glomerular apparatus that is jg cell now what jg cell does upon activation it will release a special type of protein that is called renin so now for exam purposes that renin come from jg cell especially that is come from jg apparatus now you people must know that it is the renin which come from the jg apparatus very very important now after the release of renin what is the fate of renin onward what do will this renin in the body it will goes into the liver now this steps occur in the liver i should say this step occur in the liver because renin 
in the blood will goes and to the liver and within the liver we have inactive form of protein known as angiotensinogen now this angiotensinogen present in the liver in inactive form now renin will get this angiotensinogen convert into angiotensin 1 now angiotensinogen conversion to angiotensin 1 within the liver that is regulated by renin which come from the kidney now this angiotensin 1 in the blood will goes toward the capillary the lungs now actually this angiotensin 1 later will get convert into angiotensin 2 now this step primarily that is mainly occurring in the lungs because we have an enzyme which convert angiotensin 1 and to angiotensin 2 the drug the enzyme is known as that is called ACE S that is called angiotensin converting enzyme now angiotensin converting enzyme convert angiotensin 1 and to 2 within the endothelial cell in the lungs capillary like lungs vasculature now I should say that angiotensin angiotensin converting enzyme present in the lungs and also some amount in the kidney now when angiotensin 2 is formed now this what do in the body it has multiple action number one it is a stronger vasoconstrictor to angiotensin 2 it can cause vasoconstriction now vasoconstriction mean that angiotensin 2 will go toward two things vasoconstriction mean it will construct the veins which is called venoconstriction veno construction as well as it can cause arteriolo construction it can construct artery as well now a substance which construct vein in the artery both they are called veno construction as well as arteriolo constrictor now when vein is constructed when we can construct vein the blood flow toward the heart will be increases so should we should say that veno construction can increase venous return that is called a venous return so when veno construction is occur venous return to the heart that will be increased when the heart receive more blood then the heart will eject more blood so that will leads to increase cardiac output the amount of blood ejected by the heart in one minute that is called cardiac output so when venous return is more then automatically cardiac output will be more and when arteriole is constructed there will be increased total peripheral resistance that is called TPR total increase total peripheral resistance and this total peripheral resistance and increase cardiac output eventually increase the blood pressure so the one way this low blood pressure we make it high one of the way is angiotensin 2 which can leads to vasoconstriction now vasoconstriction mean that vasoconstriction mean venoconstriction arteriolo-constriction veno construction that can increase cardiac output by increasing venous return and arteriolo construction that increase tpr total peripheral resistance after that this angiotensin 2 also goes into the adrenal gland that goes into the adrenal gland and as we discuss in the uh, physiology lecture those who need such type of lecture for whole mbbs or md they can contact me they can comments me we will provide the whole lectures now angiotensin 2 goes into adrenal gland and it will activate a zona adrenal cortex to release aldosterone now aldosterone is a hormone which come from adrenal gland upon activation of aldosterone synthase by the help of angiotensin 2 now this aldosterone what do it will help in the retention of sodium and water now when retention of sodium water is occurring there will be increase volume when blood volume is high so definitely it will increase the BP it will increase BP because when volume of the blood is high it means the BP will be increased but one thing for sure it will excrete potassium out of the body now this alda angiotensin 2 do one thing more this angiotensin 2 I should say now here in the note angiotensin 2 activate posterior pituitary gland activate activate pituitary gland 
to secrete secrete a special type of hormone known as adh now as we know adh is a anti diuretic hormone and this adh will help in the retention of water this adh what do it will help in the retention of water now this retention of water again increase volume which turn lead to increased blood pressure now what this system is actually tell us this system mean okay, when the bp is low this system by different mechanism <laughs> they try to increase the low bp for long term now angiotensin 2 is a vasoconstrictor vasoconstriction leads to increased cardiac output increased tpr which increase the blood pressure and this angiotensin 2 releases aldosterone from adrenal gland which lead to retention of sodium water which further increase volume increase bp and this also activate pituitary gland posterior pituitary gland to release adh and that will also retain the water to increase blood volume so by these mechanism the blood pressure is maintained now our system or topic for today renin angiotensin aldosterone system now in this system there is initially renin which later form angiotensin angiotensin at the end aldosterone so that is called renin angiotensin aldosterone system so the simple theme is when blood pressure is low the sympathetic system will activate it it will goes and release the renin upon neuronal stimulation in the jg cell then that renin into the liver via the blood convert angiotensinogen into angiotensin 1 angiotensin 1 by the help of ace convert into angiotensin 2 now this angiotensin angiotensin converting enzyme one thing for remember we will discuss later in pharmacology that ace they has to do two thing it convert angiotensin 1 into angiotensin 2 or number 2 it has also break down of bradykinin bradykinin is very very important now bradykinin is a potent vasodilator that is also break by its breakdown is also done by ace then angiotensin 2 will cause vasoconstriction and aldosterone release and that will leads to increase bp so the system in the body which can increase blood pressure in the long term long term blood pressure is regulated by a special system in the body that is called ras now in the next lecture i will tell you upon on same system i will discuss the whole anti hypertensive medication if mean if a patient came to you with high blood pressure any patient came to you with high blood pressure now we want to give a some agent to decrease his or her blood pressure one of the way we can block this area ace inhibitors now if we give a drug which inhibit this ace it will not allow to convert angiotensin 1 into 2 when 2 is not formed no vasoconstriction no aldosterone no plasma volume increase no vasoconstriction occur bp will be below the drug used in this category captopril enalapril remipril now but that system we will discuss in the subsequent class but for today i just found out this video i think you people watch it in the in my youtube channel like it watch it and subscribe and please give me comment at the end that i come to know that how much you can get something concept from the topic so if you like it if you love it regarding the medical concept you can comment and let me know about the very very interesting topic the topic you people uh, has a problem to understand very well you people can mention me in the comments i will try my best to cover those topic as well and if someone take the whole mbbs whole md for usmle plab nre exam subscription they can contact us thank you so much take care allah hafiz